Hi YouTube, this is Summer Girl Natural. This video is about changing the chemistry in a product. Um, the last video, I got a lot of emails asking me if I'm talking about them. Um, one person accused me of talking about them. I can assure you that the person that I was talking about is fully aware um, because we talked about that video. And, we all, and that person knew I was going to make that video. So... Um, you can put your mind at ease. No, Family Girl Nigel is not talking about you. And for the ones that are stalking me now, because I did the father the leader method, um, that's cool with me too. Um, I could I can't be everything to everybody. I only can tell you the truth. Um, with certain things, and this video is a piggyback to the other video I made. So changing the chemical in a product okay so y'all know i'm against mixing products and the reason why i'm against mixing products is because these products are going into your skin even though you can say oh i'm not putting it directly on my scalp it's attached to your hair and it's going to get into your skin into it's going to seep into your skin okay um anything that touches your skin will seep into it. That's why when you you have to wash your hands because of germs and um, different stuff like that. Like if you wash your clothes in the wrong detergent and you're allergic to it, and because it's touching your skin, you will have allergic reaction. Um, to give you an idea of what I'm trying to come from when I'm talking about stop mixing products and um, the chemical reaction in certain products. Okay. Now I'm not against mixing products don't get me wrong somebody did write me about that no i'm not against mixing natural products but you just got to know what you're mixing okay um for example these two products um i love ic gel and i like the the shea butter cantu shea butter they don't mix well but this is like a obvious uh, um chemical reaction that don't mix well but they have some products that that is not so obvious and you mix it all these um, products together so you would notice that if you mix it to this um i got this well i actually put these two in my head before but apollo mama actually um did a um this on her video to show you how it clumps together when you mix it together you see yeah that's how it, it looks in your head but that's an obvious um chemical reaction but what about the ones that's not so obvious okay let me give you another example baking soda baking soda cannot be mixed with everything actually let me show you this is baking soda in a little bit of color. this is chemical this is something I would do for my kids too, y'all. So, um, these two, when they get together, oh, yes. That's what you get when they mix together. Now, you mixing this in conditioner, and you noticing that it's fluffy. Why would you put that in your hair? That's what I'm saying. Um, because baking soda can't be mixed with a lot of stuff, and... A lot of other chemicals can be mixed with other stuff. Um, you have to be mindful of these things that's going on your scalp. Y'all, I'm 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 not trying to um I'm sorry y'all my thing fell. I'm I'm not trying to bash nobody. I'm just trying to get you to open your eyes on certain things. You're gonna notice that you might put a conditioner on your hair, and then you might put something in your hair that might shine um give you a high gloss and then you mix them together and they make your hair crunchy it's the chemical reaction that's going on y'all and then you have to wash your hair some stuff will actually give you that relaxed look that some of us not going for you know what i'm saying you cannot y'all I'm, I'm 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 trying to be What's the word? I want to explain this as best as I can, and not hurt nobody's feelings. Cause so many people's feelings get hurt when you when you talk about 
mixing products because they like mixing and stuff and then um they want to really really get upset i'm not trying to i'm not trying to do that i'm just trying to get you to be mindful of some stuff um doing product reviews i cannot do a success um uh, a successful product review if i mix products say if i do a product review on these two and i mix these two and my hair come all clumpy and stuff so what product review can I give you? Oh, these don't work. This obvious. What about the not so obvious um, products that you put in your hair? Like, you might um, you know what? <laughs> Basically what I'm saying is whatever you want to do to your hair it's fine. That's your hair. Um, if your hair break off, that's something you have to deal with. Um, I can only tell you what's best as a parent, as somebody that's trying to promote healthy hair. Um, I don't need, I don't need BS from somebody feel like and like I'm talking about them. Um. It's not that important. It really not. Whatever you want to do to your hair, whatever tutorial you want to do, I just want you to be mindful of the people that's looking at you when you do these things. That's all. You know, you mess your hair up and you might not be brave enough to say, okay, you know what, fam, um, that didn't work for me. Uh, tell your people that it didn't work. Some will just stop doing it and not do a follow-up that it didn't work but these other people behind you are still doing it case in turn um when a youtuber was doing the afro g stuff and some people cannot use afro g um but they still was like this is the new regimen this is you know they was on the protein thing and other people was like oh my hair falling out my hair falling out and it was on YouTube videos about the hair falling out because I was following this person. And then the person that really started the that particular regimen did not get on and said, Oh, I stopped using the Afro G. I'm using this new product. And they find out until like I think two months later. But all this on time, these other people were still doing the Afro G regimen. Okay? Um, something is it, it just it, it don't be fair. Hi, YouTube. Um, I'm back, y'all. So, this is a tip on how to do a fair product review. Um, if I want to do a product review on this shape, Cantu Shea Butter, and it say it leaves hair soft, shiny, and manageable, I would put this product in my hair, and that's it. And see how it makes my hair feel, and that's how you could give a proper product review if I mix this with an oil as you can see this don't mix well with a lot of products um I can't give this a proper product review so so you to see what works for you just try the product by itself and then see how it works before you say oh this don't work because I find a lot of people they they'll mix a whole bunch of products in their hair and say oh that that product is not a good product you didn't give it a proper product review because it might just work for your hair. Um, so just a thought. So bye YouTube.